Alright guys, welcome to our channel, Doghouse Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to host your own local server on Xbox One. It's not too hard, there's some easy setup things you might want to change though. So, let's first start out, you're going to come down to Host Local. You're going to press A, and then here you'll see your different, um, all your different stuff that you can do as far as changing your um, percentages on how things operate. So the main things that I change, I don't change a lot, but uh, I do change the, on the general tab, I do change the XP multiplier, because otherwise you do end up ranking up a little bit slow. Um, so I, I rank that up to about 1.6. I don't, I don't want to go too crazy on stuff, because then it takes away the, the difficulty of the game. I do the taming speed up to 1.6 as well. If you keep going down, I do the um, dino harvesting amount a little bit, and then uh, the harvest amount, I also change a little bit to 1.6. Um, let's see, the other things I do change, um, I change the dino count, you can't really change, otherwise I'd add more dinos, but uh, the player harvesting damage, I, I do up, because when you're harvesting, it takes forever to get stone and wood sometimes, and so I, uh, I do up that up a little bit. I allow the third person camera. Um, this is just stuff when you notify other people. So if you want to have your friends play with you, you, you can do some of that stuff. Um, the uh, the uh, other things I mainly do on here is I, if you press the, the RB button, it brings you over to the advanced tab. So I don't change any of the structure stuff because when you're doing PVE, so this is also for PVE, I'm not doing PVP. Um, you don't, unless, unless you're going to fight against your friends, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Um, the online rating doesn't matter. You kind of have to scroll down. The, the poop interval, <laughs> I do change a little bit, so it's a little higher. The egg laying, the lay egg interval, I do change because it does, uh, it does take a while to lay some eggs. Uh, the mating interval, I, I up it a little bit. Um, that way you can, it doesn't take so long to get eggs and fertilize eggs. The egg hatching speed, I definitely upgrade. Um, the baby mature speed, I upgrade too, because I don't want to fart around with waiting for the baby to take forever. Um, the, har <coughs> the harvest health, I don't really do. Uh, I, I believe that was stock on that. The resource respawn period, so that's, that basically tells you the respawn rate of the resources, so like the trees and rocks when you harvest them, it's the frequency of how fast they come back. I change that because um, I want to make sure those don't take forever because I've played on servers where it takes forever for stuff to re respawn back and it uh, kind of slows down the gameplay for you. The baby cuddle interval, I change a little bit because I don't have to cuddle the baby so much because it's just wasted time spent, I think. Um, the imprinting, I don't. I don't think I really changed at all, to be honest with you. The daytime speed, though, and the nighttime speed, I sped up the nighttime because it is harder to play at nighttime. In some areas, like forests and swamps, it gets way too dark, and uh, you can use your torches and night vision and things like that, but I, I speed that up. Um, the other things I do change, uh, the no resource radius around the players, I put it pretty low because I want to have the resources spawn back close to me um, the, the no resource radius for the structures I change as well <clears throat> that way if you harvest say some metal and you built a, a, a small little outpost base next to some of the stuff um, it, it'll, it'll respawn close you know the closer it comes sometimes you put too close though it actually responds back in your base and it's kind of ridiculous the crop growth speed I did bump up because it takes a while um, the crop decay, I, I'm just changing it now. I don't, I don't think that, uh, I don't think I really did that too much. So, um, this stuff, I don't change the dino stuff at all. The wild dinos, the tame dino stuff, I, I didn't, I didn't change at all either. Um, I don't really change the dino stuff, the dino stats, because I don't want to mess stuff up. My player stats, I don't change either, besides the stuff that we've already changed. Um... So pretty much, to be honest with you, the crafting skill bonus, I, I think it defaults at one. Um, the custom recipes, I don't, 
I don't change. Um, Cause I don't like to change the game too much. Uh, the supply loot crate quality, I did actually just recently change it to be a little bit more. Um, but other than that, I'll be honest with you, I don't change a lot. The engrams, I don't, I don't change. You can, you can take stuff away if you want. So if you know things that you do not want, like the flare gun, I, I never use that. But some people might. It's, my nephew likes it. It's kind of cool. Some things like... I only use the Adobe stuff in the desert, so I, I leave that. So other than that, you come over here. I, I, this is for the Ragnarok. So you come down to host non-dedicated session. So you want to click that, and then you turn. You, you can actually. Uh, I enable the crossplay because that will allow you. If I already had a character on this already, it'll allow me to spawn my old characters in if I want to. And then private match, I, I keep undone. Um, I don't check that and then you just press accept and then it'll take you in and we'll be back in a minute all right guys we're back uh, we're here so we're gonna actually do your character um, you can change a bunch of different things here you can, you can change from male you can do right right tab <clears throat> you can do female for some reason, I usually pick a female because everyone picks males, and so I usually pick a female because, I don't know, it's, it's different. Uh, I'll, I don't really have a reason, to be honest with you. <laughs> so you can change different colors of them, okay? So you can pick something way different from here or, or the same. Um, actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play as a male this time. So, you know, pick something. You can do your hair color. You can do different colors. I, I do white, usually. You can do your head size, your eye color. You can do red, blue, yellow, you just all kinds of different things. Um, you can do your face size, head width, head height. I usually do my neck size, beef it up a little bit. Your neck length tells, shows you how tall your head can go, see? Going on the torso, you can make your chest. You come over your character, you, you can actually, um, what the hell? You can actually make your chest, your shoulders bigger, um, hips. You know, you can, so many things you can do. It's kind of cool. You can make your 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 uh, torso height higher, so that way your body looks lengthier. Your hands. You can go down your arms, your hand, your arm length, your your upper arm. You can yoke yourself out right there. You can do your lower arm. Give you some uh, forearms. Same thing with the legs. You can make yourself a taller. You can use a mass muscle in your thighs if you want. Uh, your feet, you can do your calves, you know. Or you can, or you can go all the way down to you when you forgot about your calf day. <laughs> uh, yeah, calf days. I had a teacher that had no calves, dude. He was a buff, <laughs> but he did no calves. All right, then over here you can go over to survivor name. Tap A, tap X. You can put your name in, so um, I don't know. Let's go with Doghouse for our channel, huh? Just type it in. Let's see. So there's a lot of things you can actually do on this game. This game's pretty awesome. Um, I mean, this new map on Ragnarok, it's so massive. And then, sorry, I can't spell and type. Hold on a second. All right. So you press start. You come down here, you're going to do create new survivor, but first you need to pick a location, okay? So jungles top left, um, those are recommended because it's not as hard. The Viking Bay is usually where I start out. I usually start about right there on Viking Bay 1. There's two though, and then there's three. There's actually on Viking Bay 1, there's a pretty sweet um, waterfall that I usually just put my house next to because it's pretty cool looking, but... Uh, We'll go here, we'll go three, we'll do something different. Um, the Highlands over here, I just spawn right over here. I was gonna make a tutorial for you guys. Way difficult because there's not that many dinos, not too many resources, and it was pretty difficult, to be honest with you. It's a little bit harder over there. Um, you can come down here to the swamps in the southwest. Uh, those, are, those are pretty hard to start out with too, I'll, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you. So I'd, I'd recommend Viking Bays is usually pretty good because there's a lot of fish, things like that. So you come down here, 
you can create new survivor or you can go to download your old survivor which i want to show you guys pretty much a fresh start so when you create new survivor you're going to create and then we're going to go load in so we'll be right back all right guys we're loading back in we're coming in as you see you scratch your arm oh man that implant really hurts oh shoot <laughs> All right, so we're in Viking Bay 3. So usually I'm way over there on the other side of the water. Um, and then my other one is around that bend over there. So there are some dangerous stuff here too. So that's pretty much starting out, guys. All right, and then you just go from here and we'll see you at the next video.